All right, Shalom, Israel, Shalom, Shalom. It is Brother Obadiah from New Wine Congregation. And you know, first and foremost, I want to give all honor and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai. Yahweh is the true name of who the world calls God. Bahashim just means in the name of, and Yahweh Shai is who the world calls Jesus Christ. And this video I'm going to touch on through the Spirit is going to be an encouragement video for brothers and sisters to keep these high holidays with mirth and gladness. Right, we are commanded to keep these high holidays with mirth and gladness. We can't keep these high holidays like it's a regular day. Our forefathers kept these high holidays with mirth and gladness. David danced. It was a count where day when they came back from war. David on David danced out his clothes. You see what I'm saying? These days of uh, of these feast days are designed for us to have a good time. It's a time to link up with brothers and sisters if you can. Right, if you have people in your surrounding area or you within the camp, this is a time to link with brothers and sisters and have a good time, right? And uh, and, uh under the Lord, cause we doing this for the Lord. The Lord gave us high holy days to keep, and we supposed to keep it in mirth and gladness. We can't go through the motions. We can't treat this like no regular day. Oh, a new moon coming up, and you going to the new moon, and you know you want you don't want to be there. Got your hands crossed. Everybody having a good time. You got your hands crossed. You don't want to be there. You know, you, you know, you're ready to go. We can't keep these days like that. These days are very, very important. These hey, how you keep the feast days can determine if you're gonna get the kingdom of heaven or not. Let me let me get that. Let me get that. This second Ezra chapter 2 and verse 38. Arise up and stand. Behold, the number of those that be sealed in the feast of the Lord. So you can get you can get you can get sealed by the feast of the Lord. That's why it's very important to keep these feast days. You can get sealed by how you keep them. Are you going through the motions when these feast days come around? Are you excited for these feast days to come around, or it's a regular day to you? You don't really care about it. Or you just keeping them because you feel like you have to. No, we're supposed to keep these feast days with joy. We're supposed to be looking forward to these feast days. I mean, we got we got the best feast day. We got the best high holiday in the world. What 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 what? My bad. What um holiday in the world that our people keep have? It's a seven day feast. It ain't no seven day feast. And Christmas ain't no seven day feast. Thanksgiving ain't no seven day feast. Uh uh um uh, Halloween ain't no seven day feast. I think we got like two or three seven-day feasts. Then we got Purim, which is two days when you give gifts. You got Feast of Tabernacles, which is seven days when you in a tent. And nobody got no feast days like how we have in the Bible. You got new moon, meaning new month. You have a feast day every month. It's a feast day every month. This is something that we look, me and brother, we already talking about it, man. We already talking about the new moon that's coming up. We can't wait. I can't wait to see my brothers when these when these feast days come up, man. I can't wait to see my brothers' faces. I can't wait to drink some wine with my brothers. I can't wait to, hey man, feast of dedication. Hey, we, feast of dedication Thursday. We was lit, man. And it, not even just the first day. Uh, the second, third, fourth, fifth, the times that we linked up was lit. Why? Because we love each other, man. And we keep we keep the we take these feast days seriously because we understand we can get sealed by these feast days. We understand that um, the Most High takes joy in these feast days. He's in, a, he in the presence of these feast days. You think the Most High want to be in, be in the presence of a feast day that every is, you know you end up going through the motions. You know you you don't want to be there, but in the world, right before you came into this truth, when, when uh, at Freak Nick, you know I, you was at you was you was ready to go to Freak Nick. You know our, our people, our people. Um, our people go through the motions during the feast day because they say they had a bad day at work. I don't, I don't, I don't feel good. I just don't. I'm not in the spirit to, to go. I'm not in the spirit to have fun. But when you, when we was in the world, and that, and uh uh Freak Nick came, and when Orange Crush and uh the birthday bashes came, or the back to school parties came, we was in there. Rather we had a bad day at work or not, we was in there. Rather, rather we might had a we might had a headache. Or we might have had a stomach ache. We weren't missing that party. We weren't missing that for nothing. And we was turning up. Even if even if our boss, hey, you you can have somebody. You could have been. You you could have just got fired. You could have just got fired. 
and you still going to the uh, freak nick that same night turning up like you just ain't get fired. But how is it when it comes to the Lord, we going through the motions? We we going th we going through the motions. You know, it, it, when Christmas came around, we decorated. Do you decorated your house and things like that? But when it comes to the Most High God high holy days, you don't put no effort in His high holy days. You don't want to decorate when it comes to the high, the high holidays of the Lord. But when, when you when you was in the world celebrating Christmas and celebrating Easter, you want to make sure you had the best looking house with the best decorations. So why don't we why don't we bring that that effort that we had when we were celebrating pagan high pagan uh, holidays? Why don't we bring that same effort when we coming into the Lord high holy days? Because this is what actually matters. This was actually important. This is what we actually going to be doing in the kingdom of heaven. We're going to be keeping these same days that we keeping now in the kingdom of heaven. And you think the Lord going to allow you to come into the kingdom of heaven if, if you couldn't even keep his high holy days with, with joy and mirth while you was here on earth? What we doing right now? We were we were rehearsing, we were um rehearsing the righteous acts. So if you if you going through the motions and if you don't want to go to the high holy days, how, what you gonna do in the kingdom of heaven? How, what the Lord? How is the Lord looking at you? We gotta make sure that we keeping these things with mirth and gladness, man. And and, and turn up, man. And and, and, and where you where you if, if you can, right? If you can, if you have you no, know, if you had the money, you had the clothes, dress up nice. You no, know, you know, dress up. You don't have to dress up in no suit or nothing, but you know, dress up like you going somewhere, like you be going going out, cause it's for the Lord. This is for the Lord. Hey, put you some cologne. If you got some cologne, you, you can put you some cologne on. You know what I'm saying? Put your, your, your favorite shirt on. You know, you know, iron your pants. Put your favorite shoes on. If you can. You know what I'm saying? But don't come to a feast day, you know, just throwing on something. You just coming for the food. You, you just coming for the food. You got your, you got your, you just got your slides on. Got your shorts on with a, uh, with a, uh, a a white beater, you had a white beater on with some shorts on, with some slides on, looking like a nigga, <laughs> looking like a nigga. No man, we this is for the Lord. That's what Jake wear at parties in the world. If you have the clothes and the uh, if you if you have the clothes and the money to uh have some some dress nice, do it. Cause we not doing this for men. We doing this for the Most High God. Just like brothers at the Passover, they have they some uh, a lot of brothers dress nice. Some brothers have their garments on, right? Some brothers have a nice they nice little polo shirt with the fringes on it, you know, with the with the uh, khakis, whatever you have on with they with they uh with they uh uh staff in their hand. Why? Because we doing this for the Lord. Cause the Lord take the Lord take honor in these days, man. We can't we can't go through these these high holy days. Through the motions, even if you can't link, even if you can't link with nobody, you might be by yourself. Hey, still have, still turn up and write. If you can decorate and you by yourself, hey, decorate, decorate your house if you got the money to. You know, hey, put your put your, put your dress on, get some wine. You got to drink by yourself, but have fun. Make this day separate than any other day. Make these days separate than any other day. Your when when the high holiday come around, it shouldn't feel like a regular day. If you can, if you if you with a congregation, and you and you or you had the opportunity to link with people, link with them. Do not take that for granted. If you had the opportunity to link with brothers and sisters, link with brothers and sisters, cause that that's what's gonna make the, the feast day even more mirth and gladness. Cause you are gonna be smiling, y'all gonna be joking, might play some cards, might watch a movie. You know what I'm saying? I feel like. Me and my brothers had the best talks when we at the feast days, man. When we out there just chilling while we out there grilling, waiting on the food, got some wine. We be freestyling, you know what I'm saying? We be on the beat, you know what I'm saying? We be dancing. We, it's, be the, it's fun, man. We got to make sure that we keeping these days, man, because th this is uh, for the most high God. Let me get this preset right here. This, um, this Deuteronomy. This Deuteronomy chapter 20, 28 and verse 47 through 48. 
This is a reason. This is one reason why we in captivity. This is one reason why we got put on those slave ships and sent to America because we didn't serve the Lord with joyfulness and gladness. This Deuteronomy 28 and 47 through 48. Because thou servest not the Lord thy God with joyfulness and with gladness of heart for the abundance of all things. Therefore shall I serve thy enemies, which the Lord shall send against thee in hunger and in thirst and in nakedness and in want of all things. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck until you have destroyed thee. So one of the reasons why we got put into captivity and we got these curses on us, that's in Deuteronomy 28 and 15 on down, is because we didn't serve the Lord with joyfulness and gladness. You had, you had a lot of our people back then when the feast days came around that some of them didn't show up or some of them was there and they, they, they didn't want to be there. That's not serving the Lord thy God with joyfulness and gladness. And that's the reason why we got here. He said, because thou servest not the Lord thy God with joyfulness and with gladness of heart for the abundance of all things. So abundance of all things. Everything we do, we're supposed to do it in gladness. When, we go out, when brothers go out to camp, Supposed to do it in gladness. When the Sabbath day come, we supposed to we supposed to keep it in gladness and joy. We ain't supposed to be like, oh, the Sabbath here again. I can't buy a sale. Oh my gosh. Then you waiting for the sun to go down so you can go buy a sale. No, we supposed to keep this with joyful and gladness. When the new moon come, we want to keep that in joy and gladness. We supposed to be ready to take off, man. Take off work. You have people be like, oh, the feast day coming up. I gotta take off work again. I gotta take off work again. I gotta try to take off work. <sighs> Got the new moon coming up. The Sabbath, the hard Sabbath coming up, and miss some more money. No, we ain't supposed to do that. We are supposed to keep these days in gladness, man. Cause it's it's a beautiful thing. The most I didn't have to give you no Sabbath day or day of rest. The most I didn't have to give you no new moon, which is a Sabbath, and it's a uh, it's a uh, 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 a holiday. I did that you supposed to link up, right? And most high didn't have to give you feast of tabernacles. He didn't have to give you these days. He didn't have to give you a uh, feast of dedication. He didn't have to give you destruction of Nicanor in the Apocrypha. He didn't have to give you these days, man. He didn't have to do that. So we supposed to keep these days in mirth and gladness. Supposed to come in, whatever you going through, whatever you going through. Or whatever you went through the day before or that or that same day. When you come to the feast, you gotta put that to the side, man. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta put that to the side. What the most high God said on the Sabbath. You're not supposed to bear any burdens. Let me get that. Let me get that. Let me get it. This Jeremiah chapter 17 and verse 21 through 22. Thus says the Lord. This is what the Lord said. Not what I said. This is what the Lord said. Thus says the Lord. Take heed to yourselves and bear no burden on the Sabbath day. Nor bring it in by the gates of Jerusalem. Nor carry a burden out of your houses on the Sabbath day. Nor do any work but hallow the Sabbath as I commanded your fathers. So, not only does this take, not not only does this uh go for the Sabbath day, this go for all the rest of the holidays. Don't bring no burden to the new moon. Don't bring no burden in on the Sabbath day. Don't bring no burden in on uh on uh in fe on feast of tabernacles. This is a time that everything that you're going through, your problems, put that to the side. Put that to the side. This is a time that you're supposed to serve the Lord. We serving the Lord, man. This is a this is a high holiday for the Lord. He invited us. Think about this. The Lord invited us to his feast days. He invited, he called us out this world from keeping these pagan days. He called us out the world to come and keep his feast days. He didn't have to do that. He didn't have to do that. That's a, that's a special invitation to be called out of the world from keeping pagan days to keep the most high God feast days that's going to be kept in the kingdom. So how is it that before we was called to keep the Lord feast days, we was keeping pagan days and keeping all these, going to all these parties that was full of sin, wickedness, idolatry, adultery. We turned, we had fun. We wasn't missed. In the world, 
We wasn't missing no parties. We wasn't missing no kickbacks. It don't matter how cold it was. It don't matter how hot it was. We was at them parties. Have that same energy when it comes to the Lord. And you shouldn't want to miss a feast day. You shouldn't want to miss no feast day, man. Only to, Lord willing, only time I'm trying, only time I only time I may miss a feast day if if I'm in a um I can't move, man. I, I got a I got a migraine headache. It's beaming me. I I can't move, or I might done broke my 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 neck or something. My I might have twisted my arm. And even even then, I might you know if I have time to go to the doctor, I'll pull up to the feast day with a cask on. You see what I'm saying? We shouldn't want to miss the feast days, man. We shouldn't miss the feast days because <sighs> my boss been on me. I don't, I'm not feeling it. I don't, I don't want to do it. You know, I just been going through it the whole week. I don't feel like being around nobody. <sighs> um, Satan, Satan been on my neck. You know, I just, I don't need, I don't want to, I don't want to go to the feast. But we wasn't doing that in the world. We wasn't missing no Christmas parties. Who, who was missing a Christmas party? You weren't missing no Christmas party. You wasn't missing Christmas Eve. The Christmas Eve dinner. You wasn't missing that. It don't matter what you was going through. It don't matter how mad you was. It don't matter how depressed you was. It don't matter. You, were, you was there. You was at them feast days, man. So how much more for the Lord? We can't get to these feast days and, and, and come to serve the Lord and act like this no big deal. I say. I, it's good, you know. I I I catch the next one. I catch the next new moon. Now I, I I catch I catch I catch the next time y'all link up for the Sabbath day. But it wasn't like that when you was in the world, when you was linking up with your friends for these parties. You was the hey man. The whole pepper move. You ain't slick. It wasn't like that because even when man. I seen people, it's uh on it's this party called Orange Crush. Or like a little, I think it was at the beach called Orange Crush. I seen everybody on there talking about Orange Crush. They was talking about Orange Crush a month before it was even here. They were talking about going to Orange Crush. My brother put on Facebook, anybody, anybody cutting anybody cutting hair, I'll pay you $50 to cut my hair for Orange Crush. They already getting they they already getting their outfits ready. It's it's it, it's a month from now, and they already was getting they uh the women was getting their bathing suits ready, the men was already getting their outfits put out for Orange Crush. Oh, freak Nick, we actually me and brothers two years ago we actually went and talked at at Freak Nick in Tallahassee. Every the man the whole Tele the whole Tallahassee had to be at that Freak Nick, bro. It had to be. The whole Tallahassee had to been at that Freak Nick. Nobody missed it. People tweeting about it. It's on Facebook. You know, they already getting they dressed. Women dressing like uh damn bar uh Barbie brats with suckers in their mouth with oh, Matt, it, oh, it's crazy. But nobody wasn't missing that. Nobody was not finna miss Freak Nick. It don't matter, it don't matter. If they car broke down, they were gonna walk. They hey. A woman might have put her thumb out. You know, when you need a ride, if that car broke down, they'll put their thumb out and get a ride to Freak Nick. Bro, bro, brothers riding bikes to Freak Nick. They pulling up in that grandma van, the little Scooby-Doo van. They pulling up in that to Freak Nick, hopping out with a blunt. They wasn't missing that. They weren't finna miss that. So how much more us uh, pulling up to the new moons? How much, how much more us not trying to miss the new moons? Having turned up with gladness and mirth for the new moons. How about that? Get this priest up. Let's let, let's see. Let me show you. Let me show you. Let me show you how our people were turned up for these feast days, man. They turned up. If you man, back then in the ancient world, man, I, I know our people couldn't wait for the feast day. They, I mean, they, they shut everything down. Feast of dedication, seven days? A seven, imagine a seven day feast, man, in the ancient world with our people. And they, they shut everything down. Everybody turning up. You know how uh 
You know how when it be them little tailgates, them tailgate parties before a big football game, before before a rivalry game, they have like tailgates and people selling stuff. And you have mainly at Tallahassee at uh fam you homecoming. If anybody went to it, people got tents set up. Uh, people walking back and forth, people laughing, pe people linking up, drinking, having a good time, music playing. That's how it was in the ancient world with these feast days. Folks, folks wasn't taking these feast days as no foo foo. You know what I'm saying? Folks weren't taking these feast days. Go they weren't going through the motions during these feast days. It was turned up, man. Hey, the, the person the, the person that was shy, that, that mainly didn't talk, and he talked during that feast day, best believe he got a little bit of wine in him. He was dancing for the most high God in that feast day. He wasn't a, a wall fly. And you shouldn't be no wall fly at the feast days. You know how you go to prom? Or go to homecoming, and it always be that wild fly. He posted up on the wall over there in the corner, looking. You know what I'm saying? He got, he looking. He over there in the corner, just in the dark. You don't even know where he over there. He in the, he in the cut over there, just looking. And it, it shouldn't be no wild flies at the feast days. It shouldn't be no pouting at the feast days. It should it should be joy and glad. You don't have to dance. You don't have to uh to sing. You don't, you don't have to uh, rap, but just be in a good spirit. Just be happy to be there. Not for us, but for the Lord. Because the Lord allowed you to live another day. To see another feast. Don't take this for granted because we're not going to always be able to do this. They why brothers go they why brothers go so hard for these feast days. They why, we, they why we happy to see each other when we go out and labor. Because we know that we're not going to always be able to do this. We understand there's going to come a time where it's going to be shut down. So we have to cherish these moments, man. Cherish these moments. Because you're going to regret it if you don't. So let me get that, man. What I have? First, Matt, chapter 4 and verse 56. His first, Maccabees, chapter 4 and verse 56. And so they kept the dedication of the altar eight days. Oh, my, my bad, my bad. They kept it eight days. I said seven. They kept it eight days and offered burnt offerings with gladness and sacrificed the, sacrificed the sacrifice of deliverance and praise. So they, they kept these days with gladness and with praise. They were praising the Lord. Probably they were singing. It's okay to say, hey, come to a feast that you sing for the Lord. You rap it to the Lord. You dance for the Lord. That's what we're supposed to do. We're supposed to have fun. They kept these days with gladness and praise, man. It's what we're supposed to do. Keep these days, man. Now, let me get this preset right here. This, um... Well, it was that, uh, let me get David. The second is, I mean, second Samuel chapter six and verse 14 and verse, in verse four. Second Ezra 6 and 14 and 15. And David danced before the Lord with all his might. And David was girded with a lion, a lion, a lion, lion and infant. Ephod. And it says, so David and all the house of Israel brought up the ark of the Lord with shouting and with the sound of the trumpet. This is what I want. I got a point. That's the spirit. I'm going to get this. Second Ezra 6 and verse 15. So David and all the house of Israel brought up the ark of the Lord with shouting and with the, with the sound of the trumpet. So we, we brought the ark of the covenant. They were shouting. They were blowing their trumpet, blowing their shofars. It wasn't no quiet. It wasn't quiet. The feast day, your feast shouldn't be quiet. Everybody just in the living room. It's just quiet. Everybody on their phone. It's, it's awkward. It shouldn't be like that. Make some noise. We don't. We don't care. We should. We don't care about waking up your. You shouldn't care about waking up your neighbors. You should want them. You should want. You should be partying so hard for the Lord. You should want them to come knock on your door and be like, "Hey, you're partying too hard." And you should tell them, "Get out of my face," and shut the door and start back partying because you're doing it for the Lord. 
Don't come over here telling me I'm partying too hard for the Lord. But when Christmas and Thanksgiving come around, you partying with your music. Don't do that. We ain't doing that. You're not going to stop me from partying for the, you're not going to stop me from turning up to, for the Lord, man. You should wake, you should wake your neighbors up, man. Wake up. What you sleep for? This ain't our race. Wake up. We turned up for the Lord. We ain't finna have no, we finna blow our shofars that side, outside. We don't care how you feel. We finna, we finna turn up for the Lord. Then what we finna do? If you wanna call the police, call the police. I'm gonna be turned up for the Lord over here, man. That's what we doing. We ain't nothing finna stop us from turning up for the Lord. It's that mindset you gotta have. It said, so David and all the house of Israel brought up the ark of the Lord with shouting and with the sound of the trumpet. And as the ark of the Lord came into the city of David, Michelle, Saul's daughter, looked through a window and saw King David leaping and dancing before the Lord. And she despised him in her heart. So King David was, he said he was leaping and dancing for the Lord. We don't know what dancing he was doing. He could have been hitting the cat daddy. He could have been the first person to ever hit the nae nae. He probably was dabbing. Who know what King David was doing? He was lit, though. We understand he wasn't no party pooper. He wasn't that person that was, you had to tell, hey, come on, bro, dance, bro. Come on, you had to shake his arm. Come on, bro. Come on, bro, dance, bro. Why you being lame? You had to tell him that. He come to a feast day. He come to a party. He lit. You don't got to tell him nothing. It said his wife despised him in her heart. Don't be that woman. Sisters, do not be that woman and brothers too. Mainly for the sisters though. Do not be that woman that that despise your husband because he turned up at a feast day for the Lord. Your husband up there, you know, he he he, he dancing, he rapping, you know, and then you you despise him. He doing too much. He trying to get attention. He doing too much. He don't need to be doing all that. What he doing all that for? He only need to do that for me. What? The Lord can kill you for that. Just by just by just by her doing this, uh, Michelle. David never laid with her again. He never went inside her again. Understand that. The Lord can close your womb, sisters. The Lord can close your womb and not allow you to have a child because you despise your, whole, your husband for turning up for the Lord? Y'all, you they over there rapping, your husband over there rapping or doing whatever. He got the young, young, he dancing, he kind of rapping. You over there side I am, you in the corner, right? Looking at him like this. That nigga think he got bars. That nigga can't rap. Now you got to stink. He wondering why you got a stink attitude. Like he wondering why you know you go over you you go over there and talk to her. She don't want to talk to you. You like damn, what's going on? Then she tell you. Then she tell you when you get home. I don't like how you were doing at the feast day. I don't like how you was rapping. I don't like how you was dancing. You was getting too much attention. You don't need to be doing all that. She telling you you don't need to be doing all that for the Lord. How you gonna tell me what I need to be doing for the Lord? This is serious business right here, man. Serious business. Don't be that woman. Do not be that woman. Let me get this priest up. At the feast day, <laughs> I just thought about at the feast day, right? Could be at the feast day. <clears throat> And I'm saying it. I'm saying these examples, guys. I know it's happening somewhere. I know this happens. These, these situations, I know they happen. Um, might be uh, you know, she, you no, know, he dancing. You know what I'm saying? He dancing. He doing the jerk. You know, they doing the electric slide or whatever, whatever dance they doing at their feast day. His wife looking at the other women, see if they are looking at him. Kind of a meme of seeing that the other women looking at him. Why he why he turned up for the Lord? You can't have that tight spirit, man. We doing this for the Lord. Keep that in mind. We keeping these, everything we do. We supposed to do. So let me get this preset real quick. I'm almost done. Let me get this preset real quick. Iraq. 
Sirach, <coughs> chapter 43 and verse 30. The brother, my, the mighty brother Aliyah, go to scripture. One of them. When you glorify the Lord, exalt him as much as you can. For even yet will he far exceed. And when ye exalt him, put forth all your strength. And be not worried, for you can never go far enough. So you can never go too hard for the Lord. You can never decorate your house too. You can't never decorate your house too much for the Lord. And you kind of question it. Is this too much? Am I doing too much? No. If you if the, if the Lord, if you got the money and you got or you got the things that you need, if the Lord put it on your spirit and telling you, hey, put this right here, do this right here, put this right here, I want this right here. Hey, do it. Cause like I said before. You did it when Christmas came around. You made sure things were decorated. You had that Christmas tree in your house. You made sure it had uh, um, a star at the top of it. You made sure it had a little the glowing ball. You made sure the presents were under it. You made sure you had a Santa Claus. You made sure you had a gingerbread house. You made sure you had um, your Christmas movies. You made sure you had your Christmas lights. Right? You made sure that. So how much more the Lord? is? Hey, don't never feel like you're doing too much for the Lord. Maybe you at the feast day, you rapping, you dancing. Am I doing too much? Am I, am I dancing too hard for the Lord? Hey, no, ain't no such thing as dancing too hard for the Lord. Just don't, women, don't be twer don't be twerking. When I, when I say dance, y'all you know, know, don't be twerking. No, don't, don't be doing none of that. The dancing is like, you know, I ain't got to say that. You know, so, yeah. But, uh, um, yeah, you can't never go too hard for the Lord, man. So this Hosea. Two and verse eleven. It's Hosea two and eleven. I will also cause all her mirth to cease. So this is a time where Hosea was well, we going through, um, we was going through, through judgment, right? So he said, I will cause all her mirth to cease, her feast days, her new moons, and her Sabbath, and all her solemn days. So the Lord, he Lord, the Lord took away our mirth and our gladness from these feast days and new moons and Sabbath. For our our disobedience, so this shows you how our people kept these these days with mirth and gladness before they got judged, before He sent judgment upon them. So that's how we gotta keep these days. We gotta keep these days with mirth and gladness, man. And if you have an opportunity to congregate in person with brothers and sisters, hey, take that, take that, man. You know, you ain't, hey, don't be shy. We family, brothers and sisters, hey, man, brother, we are family, man. Don't be shy to come congregate with brothers and sisters. Like I said, you don't got to be the person. You don't have to be the outspoken person. You don't have to be the person that know how to dance. I can't rap, and I was rapping. You know what I'm saying? So, had a mindset of we doing this for the Lord, man. We doing this for the Lord. I'm trying to have my my, my I'm trying to have the best time I can. Put put aside the stuff I'm going through. Put aside the things, my the, the the daily things that we think about. Put aside the bills, the thoughts of the bills. Put aside the thoughts of of the uh, of your job, your car note. Put that aside. Cause hey, the Lord will handle that. Just think about this. If the Lord see you turn up for these feast days. It's nothing, it's nothing for the Lord to handle, to handle you or to help you out because he see that you're going hard for these feast days. But if you come to the feast days bringing in your problems, what? why would the Lord want to help you? Because you don't, you already don't trust him. You're lacking faith. But if you put that to the side and be like, man, it's whatever. The Lord going to work it out. I'm going to turn up for this feast day. Hey, the Lord can help you. The Lord can help you, man. Have that faith. Uh, let me get, is it one more? Is it something else I want? Hold up. That might be all I want. Yeah, that might be all I want, man. So Israel, man, turn up in righteousness, man. Hold on. Cause we, cause man, let me get this. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's another judgment. Jeremiah seven and thirty four. 
Then will I cause to cease from the cities of Judah and from the streets of Jerusalem the voice, uh, the voice of mirth and the voice of gladness. The voice of bridegroom and the voice of the bride, for the land shall be desolate. So this shows you again that we kept these, um, we kept these days with mirth and gladness, cause we, man, we we are a people that like to party. Even when we, even when we was in the world, we like to party. So bring this into the bring that same energy into this truth. Bring this same as that energy into this truth, man. It, it ain't we, you know your the feast days don't gotta be. Bland. The feast days don't gotta be bland, man. You know what I'm saying? You make the feast days what they is. If you a bland person and you going through the motions and you don't really want to do it, your feast day, your feast day gonna be boring. Your feast day is gonna be just plain. But if you if you looking forward to the feast days and you love the feast days, your feast day is gonna be lit. Whether you with people or not, whether you by yourself or not. It's going to be lit because you look forward to these feast days and you love the feast and you love the Lord. You see what I'm saying? So keep these feast days with mirth and gladness, man. And love the most high God with all your heart and all your soul, man. And keep these laws, statutes, and commandments, you know, and the kingdom of heaven is at hand. And repent, right? So with that, I'm going to give all honor and glory to Yahweh by Shimei Habashai. And I say, Shalom, Kom Yasharala, keep the feast days holy.